Hey guys, welcome back to another Coding Flamingo video. Today, instead of coding, it's going to be a little more of a sysadmin video. Uh, we're going to compare kind of the best PKIs for Intune. Um, full disclosure, I am one of the people that worked on creating AZCA. However, this video is just, I'm going to be traveling for a while and I already had uh, all these CA set up because I was doing instructions for our radio service. And I was like, I might as well make a Coding Flamingo video so you guys don't stay without a video for a while. Uh, it's going to be completely unbiased. I, I'm going to recommend whatever is best for everybody. Um, and yeah, so let's get started. So first of all, uh, Microsoft kind of came out with their own PKI for Intune um, and it wasn't great. So, uh, I mean, it came out two months ago and they still haven't changed this placeholder. Uh, you still have to go Google how, where the placeholder is and just kind of like minor things like that, that it's not great doesn't work with other uh, MDM. So if you have Jam for Mac or something like that, it doesn't work. And also it's super expensive. It's $2 per user per month, uh, which is very expensive once you have a bigger organization. Um, so that with that being said, you're kind of left with two options. I mean, there's more. Uh, if you go to Intune uh, third party certificate authority, There is a list of like many, uh, most of them are extremely expensive. Uh, that makes absolute no sense to pay for that. And they're complicated and all that stuff. So, I mean, you can go talk to any of them. Uh, however, uh, you're kind of left with Scatman and easy CA. Um, and they're very similar. And at the end of the day, all CAs will issue a certificate. They're not gold plated. There is no extra thing or anything. It's more about price, uh, management, and that's it. And security and compliance and all that stuff. So, um, let's dive into them. So first of all, the creation of them. So both of them, you can acquire them through the Azure marketplace. Um, it is as simple as going into the Azure Marketplace and you can either create a Scatman and you can also type EZCA and they both come up. Uh, one of the main differences is EZCA is fully hosted. So you don't have to host any resources. The only reason you create it in Azure is for payment reasons and both of them you can pay outside the azure uh, portal if you prefer that uh, but since it's an intune pki i, I just assumed you would be doing it in azure uh, the thing is scatman actually creates the resources in your tenant so even the free version ends up costing around a hundred dollars between the compute and the keys that you need and all that stuff um, of, of of just your infrastructure that you have to run easy ca just creates a SaaS. Then you go to the portal.ezca and everything is kind of managed by you, uh, for you. So once you created both of them, pretty straightforward. You just go through the thing with Scatman. Uh, you have to run a script to kind of get all the permissions and everything. Uh, with EZCA, you just go here and you create your CAs. And here's where there's a little bit of difference. So Scatman, you create your CA and they automatically uh, create your subject name and all this stuff. They don't give you that much freedom. It's just like, Hey, oh, we asked you your organization when you were creating the thing and here's your subject name. Uh, it's called root. And then the OU is your tenant ID and the O is whatever you set as the organization. Um, with ECA, you have a little more freedom when you're creating the, the stuff. Um, you can create here root subordinate and all that stuff. Uh, you can enter whatever you want to call it. Uh, enter all this information, select what a key you want to use, um, enter uh, notification aliases. Um, another big difference, uh, EZCA has CRL, Certificate Revocation List, and OCSP. Uh, Scaven only has OCSP. Uh, unfortunately, Azure, even though OCSP is more mature, uh, sorry, more modern, Azure only supports CRL for revocation. So something to keep in mind. And then in here you can select your SCAP template, everything like that. Then both of them create your CA, you get your SCAP URL and you can use it for any MDM, not only Intune, um, for both of them. So once you have that, 
you're good to go. So then the next thing that you want to think about is pricing. So what's the difference in pricing? So you have Skedman community version that just connects to the MDM. So if you're not issuing other type of certificates or anything like that, uh, you, you're good with that. It's a hundred dollars and you have to care about uptime and all that stuff. Well, it's free, but you pay around a hundred dollars for, um, for the compute, assuming you're a small organization, um, or you can go the enterprise route. So if you want support and you want all this stuff, then you have the enterprise route and this one, they charge per number of users. So, um, you know, it's infrastructure plus this. So let's say you have, uh, let's grab a, a, a close number. So you have 400 users, it's 295 plus the 80 something dollars of, uh, compute and all that. Um, so it ends up being like 400, um, for EZCA, it's a little simpler. Uh, so if we go to keto.io and then we go to Azure PKI pricing, you pay per CA. So it doesn't matter how many users you have. Um, it's just $200. So basically if you're doing the enterprise and you have more than, I think it's like a hundred users, it makes sense to just go with EZCA just because it's cheaper. Um, and you don't have to care about the infrastructure. If you have less than that, you can go with Skedman and you can probably do the Skedman, uh, and, uh, community version. The only thing is you don't get any support other than from the community. Um, and then you're paying 150 or, uh, sorry, it would be just a hundred dollars. Or if you want an enterprise 150, um, and you're good to go. So those are kind of like how you decide. Then after that, there's kind of like the more advanced features. So if you need more stuff, that's where like ma many diff differences come in. So for example, um, if you need to issue certificates, you have to get the Skedman enterprise to get like the certificate man master and then do all that stuff. Um, EZCA, you can also issue certificates Th this with EZCA, everything comes, think of it kind of like you're already paying for the enterprise type of thing. Uh, so you can issue certificates, um, anywhere. And then there's also the, the user. So if, if you have a user that is not managed by an MDM and you still want them to be able to create a, a certificate, they can come here. You set up the, the examples, you set up the profiles and they can come here, enter whatever they want to call it laptop, and they can create the certificate in the, in the portal. So. Um, those are kind of like the main differences, as I said, both of them are great for, for it. It's just, if you want full support and if you want kind of like more, uh, things, another thing that, uh, EZCA was, it, it's more created for like full PKI replacement instead of just like an Intune PKI. So for example, you have like Azure Key Vault certificate, so you can come here, uh, create a, a certificate here and make it go to your key vault and auto renew it in the key vault. And then you can create certificate. You, you select your, your EKUs here, and then you can go and request a certificate and it'll put it in your key vault and it'll rotate it and do all that stuff. So, um, kind of like if you're only doing Intune PKI and just with Intune or like MDM and you are very small, Skedman might make sense if you're medium to large that's when keto starts making more, more sense money wise, or if you need more features, kind of like the self-service, uh, we also offer a, a cloud radio service that connects to it. So if you want to move every, all kind of like your infrastructure to the cloud, um, it, it, it then becomes very, very easy. So, um, that's kind of like the rundown, uh, many years in this industry. So I thought I, I would share my thoughts as unbiased as possible. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.